you know it's about to get serious when I whip out the CEO chair and a pen. It's over. Well, this is a holiday in pen, so maybe it's not that serious, but important business is going down. <laughs> So it really has been a hot minute since I've come here on YouTube and, and recorded a video for you guys. But don't worry, I've neglected all my social media sites, so you are not alone. I think I'm about due, probably overdue, for a life update because so much has changed over the past few months. Just worth noting and worth coming on here and explaining why I've been absent and what the future looks like for my channel. So... I'm kind of like nervous to film this. I don't know why. I haven't sat down and done a video in so long. I kind of don't even know how to act. It's weird. Let's just get into it. So let's talk about 2020. I know we all want to leave it behind. We want to not talk about it. I'm on the same page too. It was hard for everybody and that is not an exaggeration and I don't think I need to harp on it too much. We all live through it. We've all been there. There's no really need to go into all the details, but I do want to talk just for a second about it. About what happened to me last year that has just transformed me into who I am today. Like literally, not even kidding. So yeah, we all had our struggles. There's a lot of people that I knew that either lost their job, had to start working from home. Everything shifted for everybody. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that my modeling career was going to be my number one focus outside of college once I graduated. In a video I did two years ago or so about my post-graduation plans, my plans were to move to New York City, focus on modeling, go all in, like go hard and make it work. But if you've been following along on my journey, you know that my mom got diagnosed with breast cancer, I had to take care of her. And finally, as we wrapped up on that part of our lives, or so we thought, COVID hit. My mom literally finished her treatment in January. It's been a full year, so that's so exciting. But the next month, in late February, we heard about COVID and the world's never been the same since then. So, you know, that was gonna be my time to really go and focus on my career and do what I felt like needed to be done. And for me, a huge part of my identity was my modeling career, my YouTube, my Instagram, and maintaining that, and it kind of all wrapped up. It was all inclusive and it all connected. I talk about my modeling here, I talk about it on my Instagram clearly, and clearly living through it is important, and you can't live through it when there's a crisis going on. And I know that this has been a struggle for every model in the industry. Work has just kind of stopped. It's like slowly picking up, but it truly is not the way it used to be and I have no idea when it will return. So yeah, I kind of waited around, waited for things to kind of happen, waited for COVID to go away. I know we've all, we all did it. We were like sitting by waiting for it to go away, but here we are today, a year later, and it's still happening and it's still out there. So, so yeah, we all know about that. We don't need to talk about that further, but we were really scared at first. We were like scared to even go to the grocery store. We really barely left the house for the first part of COVID. So while I was sitting at home, I gained weight like most people <laughs> did. Another thing that like was not good for my self-esteem was my face completely exploded and I had terrible acne and I'm like, where, where did this come from? There's two things wrong here. We have COVID, now this. Like, I just really felt horrible physically, mentally, all around, which the majority of people felt. I know so many people out there can relate and so many people have similar stories to me. So I feel your pain. It was not fun. And as I was sitting around waiting for something to happen with my modeling career, I just lost a direction of where to go because I was waiting for that. I was so lost. I didn't know what the next step was, what the future was gonna hold with modeling and just what was gonna happen in the industry. So I was like, okay, where do I go from here? I have no idea. I know I'm passionate about that, but what else am I passionate about that makes me excited? And I really had no idea. I had zero idea. I was trying to search and research, but I couldn't figure anything out. So it was definitely a very low point for me and I know can relate to so many people out there. While I was feeling low, you know, I had no motivation either to post on social media, film videos. I felt horrible about myself. I really did. I was like, there's no way I'm putting myself out there on Instagram and on YouTube. There really wasn't anything for me to document either. I wasn't going outside the house. I wasn't buying clothes. We're in the middle of a crisis. I wasn't gonna do hauls or anything. I did a few here and there because I tried to keep 
keep it up but overall I wasn't shopping like I was I wasn't leaving the house I wasn't traveling I wasn't doing anything that was exciting and I didn't feel like it was worthy of putting out there and I didn't even want to be I didn't even want to go out there I was just very very down on myself this kind of ties into the next part of my journey of last year um, so I was feeling completely low I was in the pits <laughs> my self-esteem was low my physical health was horrible and I was just searching for the solution and I couldn't find it anywhere no matter how hard I was trying and my whole life I've always been a Christian I've always believed in God I've been praying every night for the past three or four years now just I just felt compelled to do so but I never really went to church when I was a kid I never owned a Bible or anything like that and while I was feeling horrible and in the worst parts of last year I just felt this calling to my spirit something that I've never felt before. I was like, I need to seek out God. I need to grow in my relationship with him. If you're Christian, you know this, but the Holy Spirit literally came to me and was like, you need to grow in your relationship with God. And so I have been. I just felt this calling on my spirit. Like I literally cannot describe it. It was an overwhelming feeling. Ugh, it's just crazy. I can literally talk about my faith. I can do a whole nother video about that and just how I've changed and grown emotionally, spiritually, even physically after being called to God. We're very lucky here in Florida because churches are open and actually the church that we attend has online services so it's perfect for my family. I bought my first Bible this month. Let me show you. Oh, what up? She's pink. She's so cute and thin. I could take her anywhere, girl. So I got my little pink Bible. I'm attending church online. I'm just growing with God and learning about his word and... <sighs> I can't even describe this, but I've never felt more peace, more love, and more direction in my life than I do right now, even at this very moment. Nothing has changed in this first month of 2021 from last year. The only thing that changed is my relationship with God. I've grown closer to him, I've learned about him, and I'm walking with him every single day, and this overwhelming feeling of love and peace is just like it's like nothing i've ever felt before people are gonna think i'm crazy but i'm serious once you experience it and if you've ever experienced it you know what i mean or hopefully you get to know what i mean i don't know i feel like i could talk about this all day i'm just so excited about what the future holds and all i can say is that god is so good he has blessed me and my family he has brought us out of the darkness and into the light and the future is going to be incredible with him yeah and like i said nothing has changed i've just accepted him into my heart fully and now I have this feeling and this connection that is a consequence of that and it's the most beautiful consequence. It's amazing. So I felt the call on my spirit to join God and go deeper in my connection with him but I've also felt this call to kind of go down a different path. For me, I felt like that path is to create my own business. So I am starting to pursue that. I got my LLC three days ago. It takes like a few weeks to get it. So I'm like in the waiting process right now, but she's coming. My little business is gonna take off and I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a whole separate video all about that because big things are coming. I can't really give too much away. It's really in the early phases right now, but as she develops my little baby, I will share updates. I think I'm gonna document the process of creating a business, starting a business and running a business, you know, once that journey goes down that path and on this channel of course i'm going to still do hauls and i'm going to still talk about modeling when that happens but yeah a big part of my channel is going to be the business side of it so yeah i'm just excited to see where it's going to go and i'm excited yeah i mean that's really it there's so much goodness coming and the future is going to be amazing i'm so excited to live through it and go on this journey with you guys thank you guys so much for watching and for always supporting my channel it means so much to me now that I have a new a new direction, I guess I could say. I'm definitely gonna be on here a lot more. You may be sick of me by then. I'm gonna be on here so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and always supporting my channel. It means so much to me. So that is everything. This was much needed. I feel better like just talking this out and explaining everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I'm editing this video and I just realized, hey, it's me. I realized I didn't even do an intro or like my real outro. So, you know, it's been a minute. I haven't done this YouTube thing in a minute. Oh my God, why did I stop on this face? This is a mess. <laughs>